Howdy champs, my name is Mohit and people today I'm going to show you how to include pie charts or donut charts in your HTML CSS document, something like this. Let's have a preview. Let's refresh. That's a donut chart. I'm going to make some change to the code. And I'm sorry, I think it should be the caps lock was on and that's why this mistake happened. <coughs> sorry and that's the pie chart if you highlight you see a different color and you see a tooltip so would you like to make something like this I'm gonna pause the video for a bit and later on I'm gonna show you how to do this okay guys now the HTML uh, CSS document has a very uh, deserted look bare minimum code let's get in the code back and let's show you how using the canvas tag the HTML5 canvas tag we can actually create a pie chart with a, a, a you know a donut variant okay so the first thing I'm actually doing is I'm actually linking it up with the latest jQuery version jQuery.js and chart.js this is version 1.1.1 chart.js anything lower is fine anything higher is not if you go to uh, chartjs.com please fetch only version 1.1.1 or below ideally 1.1.1 okay sometimes you know you use the higher version and the things don't fire this is exactly the case out here okay so this is chart.js version 1.1.1 and this is the local site document guys let's get back okay so what else do we need next I'm gonna push in the canvas tag I'm gonna give it an ID it can be any other ID too some with some height here in our example 256 each okay and then we bring in opening closing script tags for what I'm getting the document ready and when the document is actually ready I'm actually referring to the canvas in this format this is the way and telling it that I'm gonna be using the canvas for a 2d drawing see let's keep it very simple here when I say var ctx uh, I'm actually creating a context to the the canvas and dollar sign my canvas get zero get context 2d I'm letting uh, sublime text 3 know that I'm gonna be uh, using the canvas and creating a 2d drawing or in our example a pie chart or a donut chart right now okay next guys these are just uh, some comments pie chart data sum of values 360 obviously a pie chart is a complete whole circle and I, I need to ensure that if there are three components all of them should add up to the data should add up to 360 and nothing more than that now through the variable data I'm declaring a variable calling it data I'm feeding in the three components value 30, value 90, value 240. These three components will add up to 360 no matter what. You can have two components, four components also which is absolutely fine. But you need to make sure that the components add up to 30. They should have different colors obviously and they should have different highlighted colors. The highlighted color is the color that actually throws up when you hover. And then you have to have different labels. I'm um, letting people know that one third of the people are actually obese or overweight and in that category one third are actually obese and the rest are actually normal weight a very sad state of affairs this is roughly how the world has become obese or overweight and most of the times these people themselves are not to be blamed because they have been misguided uh, into not each eating something which is not their natural diet which is mainly starches with side dishes of vegetables and fruits but rather they're being uh, pushed into eating meat, dairy, eggs, poultry, fish, a uh, lot of sugar etc, a lot of processed food and that's the reason why they are increasing horizontally so much right so these are the three components and this is the, the syntax guys value 1 value 2, value 3 right 
and let's get in more data. In the end, you're gonna draw your pie chart. So you're gonna let uh, this is the 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 syntax. So creating a variable pie chart and gonna be equal to a new chart on the CTX on the canvas. CTX is but the canvas where you're gonna draw the 2D drawings and you're gonna be drawing it in the form of a pie using the data this data with three components this data isn't it guys it's that simple change this pie to donut and it changes to a donut okay let's save let's see the final product it's a pie right now see the way see the highlighted color the color that is thrown off once you highlight the label is overweight obese normal weight etc okay this is the pie chart and if I'm gonna turn it into a donut just donut goes out here must have made a small mistake let me just check donut okay no extra T out here that's a donut so guys it's that easy super simple remember you can use the actual physical files that this is the latest jQuery version that I've actually used or you can use content delivery network CDN so basically links that point to the actual physical files but they're lying they're hosted on the internet okay as far as chart.js is concerned the documentation getting started is available at uh, chartjs.com but make sure that you do not download anything which is version 1.1.1 and above anything which is the same version or anything under it which are which are actually beta versions they work fine so guys i hope you found this information useful you have a good day bye bye peace